After a standout 2023 campaign and showing growth in each of his four seasons, the Dolphins and Tago Vailoa are searching for a happy medium on a new contract, a task easier said than done. The quarterback market continues to skyrocket. Jared Goff is the most recent recipient of a monster contract, earning a four-year, $212 million extension for taking the Detroit Lions to the NFC Championship. Goff's contract extension only raises the bar for the Dolphins, as Tago Vailoa outperformed Goff in passing yards, 4,624, yards per attempt, 8.3, and completion percentage, 69.3. Once a deal is done, it'll be sunshine and rainbows between the franchise and its signal caller, but in the meantime, tensions are growing. While speaking with reporters following mandatory minicamp, the quarterback used the word antsy to describe his emotions and explained that it's hard not to take the process personally. Rest assured, Tago Vailoa claimed that progress has been made since the start of negotiations. One Reddit user pointed out that the contract discussions in Miami have a striking resemblance to how Drew Brees' career with the San Diego Chargers ultimately came to a halt. Brees is mostly thought of for a highly successful 15-year stint with the New Orleans Saints, where he led the franchise to their sole Super Bowl victory in 2010. All but one of Brees' 13 Pro Bowl appearances stemmed from his time in New Orleans, where he became the most decorated quarterback in Saints history. It's often forgotten that before an outstanding run in Louisiana, Brees kicked off his career with the Chargers. The quarterback was picked up in the second round of the 2001 NFL Draft, and he went on to play five seasons in San Diego, earning a Pro Bowl appearance for his efforts in 2004. Breeze's time on the West Coast ended in 2006, two years after the Chargers drafted quarterback Phillip Rivers to compete for the starting nod. Drafting Rivers may be exactly what Breeze needed to light a fire underneath him, putting up the best statistics of his young career in 2005 and leading the Chargers to a winning record. His efforts were enough to gain an offer from the Chargers, but Breeze declined, opting for a six-year, $60 million deal with the Saints instead. Breeze's stint in San Diego has direct parallels to Tago Vailoa's experience in Miami. The Dolphins' fan base is completely divided over whether Tago Vailoa has done enough to prove that he deserves a serious payday, with arguments noting his size, lack of playoff wins, struggles against winning franchises, and injury susceptibility as red flags. Sound familiar? It would to Breeze, who heard the same noise before moving on to the Saints. The Chargers had to live with the fact that they let one of the top quarterbacks of the generation walk as they soon watched Breeze's career take off from a distance. Nearly two decades later, the Dolphins looked to lock up their quarterback in hopes that history doesn't repeat itself. So, what's the holdup? It's a classic case of risk versus reward. The Dolphins know what they have in Tua, a young, talented quarterback with impressive stats and a bright future. But they also see the potential pitfalls, including injury risks and playoff performances. It's a tough call, but one that needs to be made with both the present and future in mind. 